If you think that Lil Wayne is the greatest rapper of all time, then wait until you see his $5 million car collection. By the end of this video, you'll think he has some of the greatest cars of all time. When you think of high-profile celebrities and their cars, is there a certain car that comes to mind for you? For me, every millionaire should own the Bugatti Veyron. Lil Wayne isn't afraid to spend a million here, a million there when it comes to his rides. The Bugatti Veyron is a prime example of that. The Veyron comes in at $1.9 million and is a must-have for hip-hop luxury, especially if you are a little bit of a speed demon. There are reports that Lil Wayne was one of the first customers to be handed the keys to the Veyron. It wasn't until other rappers started showing off with their Veyrons that Lil Wayne disclosed he already had one. Can't have these rappers flexing like that. The Veyron can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just two and a half seconds. You would have trouble identifying the car as it flies past you in a blur when it hits the top speed of 252 miles per hour. If Doc Brown had made the DeLorean out of a Veyron, he and Marty could have hit 88 miles per hour in a gas station parking lot. A quad turbocharged 8 liter W16 engine powers this beast, pumping out 1,000 horsepower. When you drop almost $2 million on a vehicle, you know you are buying some of the best car engineering money can buy. Even though this car costs just under $2 million, it does not change colors like his McLaren does. Oh yeah, we'll get to that in a bit. When was the last time anyone in your life dropped over half a million dollars as a gift to you? It's okay, I'll give you a minute to think about it. The Rolls-Royce brand of cars is the definition of luxury, and the double R stands out everywhere it goes. Tunchi owns the Rolls-Royce Phantom Drophead, and while this car is expensive, it doesn't matter to Wayne since Birdman gave this car to him as a gift. The Phantom Drophead price ranges from $440,000 all the way up to $562,000. The car can reach top speeds of 155 miles per hour and is powered by a 6.7 liter twin turbocharged V12 engine. All of these fancy engine words means it can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.3 seconds. That is really fast for a car that fits four people comfortably. Rolls-Royce doesn't skimp on performance and takes comfort just as seriously. The boxy aesthetic doesn't make this car any less appealing than the sleeker sports cars we are used to seeing in celebrity garages. If anything, the shape of the Rolls-Royce says, move out of my way. A Rolls-Royce is actually featured on the album cover for Lil Wayne's The Carter 2. If you think about it, Lil Wayne is just like you and I in the sense that he has a driver's license and will occasionally be seen driving himself around. That is probably why he has such a big selection of cars to choose from. Being in a nice car is an experience in and of itself, but being able to actually drive one is something else entirely different. When Lil Wayne doesn't feel like being in control and just wants to relax, he can be seen being escorted in a Maybach 62 Landulette. What makes this car super interesting is that it is actually a rare vehicle since not many units were made by Mercedes. Lil Wayne purchased his 62 Landulette for $428,000. This vehicle features a soft top for the back seats, making it semi-convertible. The interior also has a limousine-like barrier between the front and the back seats. That way, the guests in the back can enjoy the cool summer breeze and can also have a little privacy if they are being escorted somewhere. There's enough room inside for everyone to arrive at their destination comfortably. Under the hood, you'll find a 6.0 liter twin turbocharged V12 engine that can put out 620 horsepower. If you are in a hurry, you can convince your driver to risk all of your lives and floor it, which would cause the car to hit 60 miles per hour in just 5.2 seconds. On an open runway, this sedan can reach a top speed of 155 miles per hour. While 155 miles per hour is impressive, the next convertible packs an even bigger punch. Next up, we have the McLaren 720S Spider. The Spider cranks the speed back up a notch compared to the previous car, which goes to show that Lil Wayne loves speed and living life on the edge. The 720S Spider has a top speed of 212 miles per hour, and the 0 to 60 is an astonishing 2.9 seconds, 
This car can hit 16 miles per hour faster than, I don't know, what can be accomplished in under three seconds? One round of rock, paper, scissors? The fact that I can't think of anything goes to show how fast this car is. This is the second car on this list that was actually a gift for Lil Wayne. For his 38th birthday, the president of Young Money, Mac Main, personally delivered this car to Wayne a week before his birthday. This gift cost $400,000, which is about $85,000 more than the regular stock version. The biggest change from the regular model to Lil Wayne's is that it received a new paint job that transitions from black during the day and purple at night. The interior has a 7-inch touchscreen and a 4-speaker audio system. A 12-speaker system is an optional upgrade, and there's no word if Mac made that upgrade for Wayne or not. But, given what Lil Wayne does for a living, he better have upgraded that sound system. There is almost no character that is synonymous with a certain type of car other than James Bond. When you think of James Bond, what do you think of? There is only one correct answer, and that is the Aston Martin. I would also accept a martini, but this is not a video about cocktails. Anyway, Lil Wayne can feel like James Bond when he cruises around in his Aston Martin Vanquish. The Vanquish can go from 0 to 60 in 4.1 seconds and has a top speed of 183 miles per hour. A 5.9 liter V12 engine unleashes 568 horsepower and the price tag begins at $316,000. I don't know what I have to do to make the kind of friends that Lil Wayne has, but this next car was also gifted to him. My people need to step it up. The Bentley Mulsanne was a gift from Birdman who had helped create Young Money Studios with Wayne. The Mulsanne was also the first car to feature an engine that was completely designed by Bentley. It has a 6.7 twin turbocharged V8 engine that dishes out 517 horsepower and can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.8 seconds. The top speed, which is important to Wayne, caps out at 184 miles per hour. Not bad for the first Bentley designed engine. Birdman was so inspired by this sedan when it launched that he ordered two of them. One for himself, and of course, one for Wayne. This act of kindness did not come cheap, since it cost $310,000 each for this ride. Unfortunately, for you ambitious folks who want to follow in the footsteps of your favorite artists, this car is no longer produced by Bentley. Maybe one day you'll hit the lottery and you can buy Toonchi's car at a premium. I wonder if Lil Wayne is obsessed with the Need for Speed games, since this is apparently his motto when he decides to go car shopping. The Mercedes SLS AMG is the next sports car in Wayne's garage. The SLS AMG can go incredibly fast in an incredibly short amount of time. The 0-60 to 60 on this vehicle is 3.8 seconds, with the top speed reaching 196 miles per hour. This car now has an electric twin, but was originally manufactured as a limited edition car in 2012. Lil Wayne owns one of the original vehicles, and he paid over $228,000 for it. Wayne's version comes with a beautiful black finish, but other than that, not much is known about this car, since he rarely uses it. The Cadillac CTS is a car that Wayne purchased early on in his career. This model is no longer produced by Cadillac, and Lil Wayne's is the 0708 model. You can't go wrong with Cadillac. They produce consistent quality, and it is still a high-end vehicle. Sure, it may not be the millionaire high-end, but it still deserves respect among luxury cars. It can also keep up with some of the other cars on this list, with a 0-60 to 60 in just 3.7 seconds, and a top speed of 200 miles per hour. That sure isn't nothing. The starting price for this car was $59,995 when Lil Wayne purchased it. So even though he bought it early on in his career, he could still definitely afford it. The final car on this list is actually the first car that Lil Wayne purchased out of pocket. The Porsche Boxster S was a gift to himself on his 19th birthday. He dropped $24,000 to purchase this car and even upgraded the stock rims to 19-inch black alloy wheels. A modest purchase for someone who went on to become one of the best-selling artists of all time and is often in the GOAT conversation. 
but a nice birthday present all the same. The Boxster can go from 0 to 60 in 6.3 seconds and has a top speed of 158 miles per hour. It is definitely nice to be rich and famous, but it is also nice to have rich and famous friends. Some of Lil Wayne's rarest cars are ones that others purchased for him. I could use a car. Come on, Birdman, hook it up. What cars are you the most impressed by? If Lil Wayne were to give you a car, which one would you want? Let us know in the comments and thank you for watching.